you are still watching what are you saying and we have my aida in the building my J aida really that's true that's true it's also known as like mr motivator. motivator he's a wellness coach the ceo and the award-winning health and fitness of the award-winning health and fitness brand eden lifestyle I am super excited. I don't know. I'm just stuttering right now because I'm super excited to have you, Maji. I follow you on Instagram, and trust me, when I see him sometimes doing all the you know Workouts jumping and, and the like, ah, in the my mind, squad, <laughs> I, I guess I, <laughs> I can't even you know I can't even deal. But you know, um, today is a very special day for us because mm -hmm. we're talking health all through, and I actually, you know, thought about it for us to have holistic you know, reviews when it comes to our health. Fitness, I think, should be number one. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think you would agree with me. Absolutely, <laughs> I think 100%. Fitness should be number one because, you know, I've had cases of people, you just hear somebody just dropped dead. Yes. And is there anything like somebody just dropping dead? No, I no. think maybe that person wasn't paying attention mm -hmm. to the signs that the body has been, you know, giving that mm -hmm. person before that time. Right. So run us through what you, what you, what you do, you know, as a mm -hmm. fitness coach and how you do your thing. Okay. <laughs> well, actually there are cases of what they call sudden death syndrome. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I had to check that out a little bit. Yeah. Kind of frightening. Very. I think, you know, cause it could happen to anyone. But yeah, I'm in the business of preventative healthcare. Okay. Yes. That's the idea. So the idea is to prevent you from getting to the hospital, mm. prevent you from having to deal with any ailments or anything, because most, most ailments are lifestyle related, okay. based on your lifestyle choices. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Especially if you're somebody that lives a sedentary life, okay. which a lot of people do, <laughs> especially here in Lagos, you know, or in Nigeria. In yes. You spend most of your days sitting in traffic, sitting in an office, getting in elevators, mm -hmm. you know, and with the cost of labor, domestic stuff, it's people so get lazy. Not to do nothing. You yet. know, you, I've, I've been there. I've heard myself calling out for my cook to bring me something from across the room. <laughs> so it's, it, starts to, it starts to get to you. And, and these are the things that actually start to lead to complications and problems in your life if you're not active enough. We are designed as human beings to be active. Mm -hmm. We're designed to move. And we don't do it enough. That's why you have step counters and stuff like that to measure yeah. how many steps you so take, take and so on and so day. forth. And people barely hit the mark. Hmm. Because it really exposes what's, what's, what's the, like the ideal mark. What's Ten thousand steps. Oh. For wow, she hits it every day. Yeah. You, Maji, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, you this: know? before you even before you even get happy and start patting yourself on the back, <laughs> are you vigorously active? Hmm. Because it's not enough no, to just, to just be, be walking. Walker. It's okay. not enough to do mild exercising. That's why mm -hmm. people don't see the change that they want. Really? A lot of people I go work out and they just do not push themselves. You need to learn what it is to actually push yourself a little bit. Okay. Take yourself to a place that you exert yourself. Wow. That's what we're designed for. Okay. That's, why, that's, why, that's why you see the change and progress at that point. Okay, so maybe it, that's it, why it, not it goes beyond um, weight loss because the average mm -hmm. Nigerian is all about I need to work out because I need, just like you said earlier I that's need eight parts and seven mm -hmm. parts and six. Please, so I need to lose beyond, weight here. Yeah. I need to do this. I need. Yeah. They have little mini goals, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of goals. Okay. You know, I'm a big fan of whatever motivates you. Mm -hmm. So whatever gets you started. Most times it's I have a wedding coming up. I need to fit into the dress. You Christmas. Know. Christmas. I'm so guilty. I want to pepper some. Let me tell you what I do. So I go into a store and I pick up a dress that is just a bit little, lower than my real Smart. size. I do Smart. That. So I put the dress there. I say this is my motivation. This is my goal. Yes. You know, this yes. is my goal. And usually, I truly get to that goal. And know? what happens when you get there? That's the thing. So I just relax. So mm -hmm. because. Um, I think for us to keep healthy, we think it's a lot of work, mm -hmm. and I've seen you do this, and you make it so easy and seamless. Mm -hmm. So can you walk us um, through easy things that you could do within your house, maybe, you know, that, that would keep you active? Well, look, the, the starting point is the mindset, yeah. because I can do this all day. I can tell people little things that they need to do, but if they're not going to do it, they're not going to do it. Sure. Okay. You know, and I'll tell you what got off, got me off the couch actually was um, seeing a friend of mine on Instagram, just like you see me, mm -hmm. working out, and I'd been through a particularly lazy patch, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's it, I'm mm -hmm. done with this. And I got a trainer myself, even though I train, 
trainers help me to stay focused as well okay. and I put in the work so it's a mindset that you have to create for yourself to know that you need to change who you are change your life okay because that's ultimately what it is it's a life-changing thing mm -hmm. and that starts with you focusing on how you feel not how you look hmm. okay 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 I think that's it I you focus on that. how you look and you start to hit your targets you'll quit Hmm. It's normal. The first compliment you get, ah, ah you're looking well. Okay. You're like, hey, yeah, you know, I've been doing something. <laughs> I think that happens to me. And then that happens to me. You, you feel okay. I can ease off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can calm down a little bit, and then it all comes back. Yeah. And you start this, the cycle again. So, if you can focus on how you feel hmm. when you start the journey, because a lot of people are far gone. Believe me, most people are not moving. Most people are not active, and they see it as too far a distance to go, so they don't bother. Yeah. Okay. And the thing about it is that when you are on a workout journey, the very moment you start, you immediately start to feel better. You don't see the change for a while. You know that. Yeah. You all know that. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see the change overnight. Yeah. Actually, but when I start you, working out, I add some pounds. But how you feel? Is yeah. what I, I add like a bit. Yeah, you yeah, remember the last time we were at the gym? Yes. And it depends on what workouts you're doing. Some people, you know, do a lot of strength training, uh, especially guys. Mm. Guys will avoid cardio, will go and just lift weights, mm. you know, and put on muscle on top of fat and mm. so on. And a lot of women, they'll go for these dance aerobic classes. Cardio. It's all very That's nice. What I do. That's go what for I do. A, a light jog on the bridge. Mm. And then six months later, nothing's happening. Mm. Nothing's changing. I've actually put on weight, mm. you know, and You've got to keep in mind that you know you lose you, you can lose weight through losing water through fasting mm. and that quickly comes back as well so it can fluctuate yeah. the best and most effective way to measure yourself is your bmi your body mass index mm -hmm. okay your body fat and or your waistline mm. how do you oh, my waistline uh, always goes you know, down I how would you, okay, okay sorry Sandy. Let, let me just quickly add that yes. how would you you know rate in the years that you have been working as a fitness coach mm -hmm. how would you rate um in terms of how much does fitness play in terms of your lifespan like people leaving oh, longer leaving you know what longer. this yeah. is a conversation that i always have you know and it's always based on the life expectancy of the yes. average nigerian yeah. which is way too low and it is because of our lifestyle choices sure. it directly impacts your lifespan that's it hmm. okay and because it's not just the lack of exercise that kills you. It's the, sorry to be so direct, but also the, the lack of understanding of the way you think about things like stress, okay? Which is one of the biggest killers mm -hmm. here in this country. Yeah. All right, it's, you know, hypertension, stress, people in the work environment. I do a lot of corporate wellness. Yes. So I see people who live and work in stressful environments mm -hmm. and don't know the damage because we call it the silent killer because it just, creeps up on you. So that's what we just and hear that, oh, this person so is just well and he just and he died. Know. He was healthy, you know, he was sorry, fine. Sorry, I know you have but, a lot because I have a but question. But let me just get yeah. you, let me just hit you with this point. So the point is that if you're not learning how to process your problems mm. and your stress, mm. then it's going to affect you just as much as the lack of exercise. But what I do is I use exercise to teach people how to process to the awesome. problems. Awesome. Because it's a very meditative state. Mm. Do you understand? It's like so, meditation. So my question is, you were saying that people just do the aerobics. The basics. And all those. How do you push yourself? So what's the expectation? What do you want? Do you mm. want to live? Yes. Do you want to be happy? Oh. I want to be slim. So you have to take it that deep. I take it there. Okay. You want to live? Do you want to be happy? Are you happy? Hmm. Do you, are you happy when you work out? How do you feel after your workouts? How do you feel when you wake up in the morning? Are you energized? When you wake up in the morning, are you pumped? Are you ready to go? Or are you complaining? So do you, you understand? You're telling me exercise plays a key role in terms of your it's mental state, your, your, you know, how happy you are? Yeah. Yes. I hate to get I religious, so. but it's, it's by design. Wow. Take care of your body. Yeah. yeah? Tend yeah. to your garden. Your own personal eating. Because that's the quote we read earlier yeah. said that. Oh, that's you your thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I got now it. You know. <laughs> you know, I was going to ask, um, rather, I am asking about keto. I mm. know you've had that question a lot of times. I hear about but it. then everybody tends to move to keto. Because everybody's right running. Because, like, they, is they it get... busy? Whoosh, here we go. Yeah, quick I, fix. I don't think it's sustainable. Look, look, there you go. These things are not sustainable. If you're, having a, if you're on a diet, that you cannot sustain long term, then it's just not going to work. You'll get the short term results, but you'll just put the weight right okay, back no. on again. Let's be practical. Simple. 
I start to work out today. Yes. I follow your routine. I come to meet you. I first of all pay mm -hmm. <laughs> because I know you charge very well. You know, <laughs> I meet you and I start to work out today. Yes. And I'm very religious. Mm. What is the expected time frame mm. for me to start to see changes? You know, I I heard you say immediately you start to feel better. Yeah, you, you, that's you, the most important Yeah, that's part. the most important part. Mm -hmm. But when I start to see changes, what is that expected time? Is are we talking one year, six months? I would say just put just put give it a year. Hmm. A okay. year to be realistic. A if year. you want to see change, I'm expecting give it to be a year week. so that's that you can understand time. that it's a lifestyle. Okay, that's the most important aspect. It is a lifestyle, so it cannot be a lifestyle if it's not sustainable. And if you're setting yourself short-term goals. It's not going to work. Okay. One year, guys. One year. One year. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So what is it that are running for? So I'm going to ask. All of that. <laughs> what about like intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is it's good. You know, I have nothing against it. I think it works. But just that intermittent. I think it should be something you do periodically, not full time. So you oh. are Mr. Motivator. Okay. If you could look through the cameras right now to tell that one person out there that is feeling down, you know, and they, they just want something to push them, you know, and you know, probably when you threaten them with their life, mm -hmm. you say this is life and death situation. What would you say to that one person that needs to be motivated yes. to want to start to live a healthy life? I would say um, be passionate about life. Hmm. Exercise gives you happiness. It's that simple. Hmm. And that's what matters. Be happy. Hmm. Actually, it is true. I feel a lot happier when I. I go as little so as kid <laughs> or you know, walk walk down the road, but never ask. when I plank. I hate mm. planking. Mm. I think it's very good. Um, what about skipping? What's, what's your opinion skip on that? Skipping's great. It's one of the best workouts. Yeah. That, that How, me, many? Uh, How many? Is that me. You pay him for consultation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please, How no, many is it? I warm up with 500. Whoa. 500. I warm up with 500. So that's your warm up. My that's my major. Um, personal, but today's our debut, and what's the debut show without a cake? So Yay. you're going to help us cut our cake, and um, <laughs> when we come back from this break, we'll have our cake on set. Stay with us. We'll be right back.